Welcome back. It's segment three. It's still Wednesday, May the 22nd. I'd like to thank again the volunteer crew and Shaw staff that makes this program happen every couple of weeks. My guest in this segment is uh, Wei Chi Chi, Vicky. Um, and we're going to be talking about simple things you can do to take care of and improve your hearing. Hearing, yes. Yeah, I, because I, uh, I practice Chinese medicine, uh, I realize uh, more and more people have, have hearing problems. And uh, there's a big, big market, yeah, including uh, hearing aid. More and more people need a hearing aid. But uh, uh, I have some, some people told me uh, when they wear hearing aid, they don't feel comfortable. Sometimes even bother them. That's why I wanted to come here to uh, talk about how to uh, improve hearing uh, and uh, prevent hearing loss. That's why I'm here, yeah. Mm -hmm. to, to, and um, so the reason, before I, I, I show the, the movement, okay, uh, I would like to talk the reason for hearing loss, um, some reason uh, based on the Chinese medicine theory. Uh, for young people, if they lose hearing, for younger people, uh, many the the energy uh, meridians energy blocked, yeah, from many many reasons. Uh, one of the reasons I can think think of is uh, if you have a common cold and you take um, something for symptoms, okay, for symptoms, suppress the symptoms, that will replace the body function to heal the the cold. And that will make blockage, yeah. Because the 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 medication only only suppress the symptom, but the, the body have has no opportunity to really thoroughly heal the problem. Yeah, that cause blockage, and that's why a lot of people when they were kids, uh, if if they took a, a medication for cold often. Uh, very often, when they are older, uh, they will have hearing problem. Yeah, that's the blockage. So that's for young younger people who has uh, hearing loss. But uh, for older people, uh, we add another reason. Yeah, not only blockage, but also the kidney energy decline. Yeah, that's for older people. So, so, so for most of us, when you link the kidney mm -hmm. and kidney energy to hearing yes. and the ears, we don't make the connection. Yes, but yeah, but in Chinese medicine, uh, the shape of kidney, kidneys, are uh, very very similar as the ear shape. Yeah, and uh, actually, uh, that's why not only because of the shape, but we think from meridian theory, a uh, kidney energy connected to hearing. Uh, that's for sure in Chinese medicine for thousand years. Okay, and we still pre practicing okay. on Chinese medicine. So the things you're going to show us or talk about mm -hmm. can deal with this problem of blockage yes. and mm -hmm. deal with the issue of kidney energy. Yes. But for a lot of people, I think another reason for hearing loss is just exposure to a lot of noise oh, at yes. work or... You are right. You know. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. So for the injury, that's called the injury, okay. yeah, from the, uh, too noisy at work or for some reason. Yeah, and that will uh, really, really uh, make the damage to the nerves. And that's a, a different reason, yeah. If not, nothing, no reason uh, from the injury, and then the reason will be blockage. And all for older people, uh, plus uh, kidney energy deficiency. Okay. So, mm -hmm. can Chinese medicine help with the yes. problem of injury? So next, I'm going to show a uh, uh, three movement to open this area to help the hearing loss uh, or prevent hearing loss or or make your hearing uh, improve improve. Okay. In okay. Yeah. So the first uh, let's start. Let's start. <laughs> so the first movement is yeah. So you need to. Uh, massage the ear by doing this. Jack, can you do it? Yeah, I too? can. So it's yeah, two finger back 
of yeah. the ear okay. and three finger in the front. Okay. Yeah, and the, and massage this area. So yeah, yeah, just the massage. Yeah, okay, I'm not sure where I should be massaging. If I'm on the bone, it's fine. It's if right I move the, in, it's, it's very actually soft. Actually, it's right before the ear yeah. and the after the ear. Okay, yeah. You don't need to be afraid. You d you do anything wrong. Just the rub, rub, okay. rub on the ear. Yeah, front and the back. Yeah, and you can count uh, 100 times. Oh. One, two, three, four. 100 times, okay. okay? I think yeah. I'm good more for 10. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then after this, okay, you have to pull ear. One, okay, on the, on the side, and pull. Oh, you're really pulling. Okay, and then up, okay? okay. Yeah, pull, pull, pull. Especially ear lobe. Ear lobe uh, co uh, corresponding to ear. This area is ear, okay? okay? Yeah, this so sounds like a good idea because we never do this, so the ear yes. doesn't get that movement. Yeah, when ear, when after do this, yeah. your ear feel very hot and warm. Actually, when ear hot and warm, your kidney feel, oh, so good. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. your, your kidney also hot and warm, okay? Yeah, because the body wanted to be warmer. Yeah, like a summer, uh, everything grow, right? Yeah, everybody's happier. Yeah, but the winter, everything slow down, hibernate, and the people not really very happy. Yeah, same as our body organ, okay? We are, sometimes I think of my body as uh, like a trees or a plants. Yeah, okay, so that's the first. Okay, I'm just gonna do it again. Yes. So. Yeah, and it up and down, up and down. Okay, after 100 times, right. and then pull, yeah. You don't need to pull 100 times, okay? <laughs> Just so you feel, okay, everything open. Please okay. do harder, harder, okay. better, okay? Yeah, okay. harder, better. And with this, it doesn't, can, can you show me on my ear? Yeah, right here. Ah, right okay, here. so it's in the sort of gap Yeah, here. right up before the ear yeah, yeah, and yeah. right okay. uh, behind the ear, yeah, okay? Yeah. Right there. Yeah, yeah. you know, when I, when I push on that, I can just, I can feel almost like, um, a pressure move, yeah. Yes, which is when maybe you good. actually when you do this yeah. on the ear low, actually you, you can stay here lo a bit longer. Actually, your ear inside, mm -hmm. inner ear open. Okay. Now okay. my question is, are my ears going to get bigger if uh, I no. do this? No. Uh, actually, um, not really. Okay. You don't. You you don't need to worry. Okay. But uh, according to Chinese medicine theory, uh, longer ear. Okay, longer and a bit bigger. Uh, that's the symbol of longevity Sounds and good. Health, okay. health and good health. Okay. okay? <laughs> <laughs> next. So next is um, you needed to massage on the back of the ear. Okay, here I show you this area, right under the bone, under the scalp, uh, skull bone. Yeah, massage there. This is very important, okay? When you massage this area from this ear up to this ear, the, the whole line, right under the uh, skull, skull bone, yeah, yeah must pr please massage there, yeah? And um, yeah, you can do whatever or some tool. Well, I can feel, yeah, some I can feel the skull bone. A bit of tool, bone, yeah, okay? So yeah, way. yes, with okay. your finger or some tool, okay? This is a massage, massage, okay? okay. And, uh, and, uh, and the another point is here, right under ear. Here, you have to rub, too. Yeah, R rub. This is a very important uh, acute point to open the ear. Okay, right here. Right under here. Here. Right here, okay? Yep. Yeah, it's a, a, like a depression yes, there. there. Yeah, it it's, it's just a rub. Wow. Yeah, okay? And after massage and rub here, okay? Right. Then you put a heating pad heating pad to warm it up. It's okay. very important too. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't have a heating pad, but how about just a hot, hot cloth or yes, something? Yes, yeah, and, and make it dry okay. and yeah. then put Sounds it here. Good. Yeah, that's <coughs> very important to heat it up. And then when it, it's hot, it's open, okay? Yeah, the meridians open, and then energy can go, 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 go in and out, yeah. And then, okay, that's heating pad. And the, the last one, 
okay, to open the ear is, uh, I do this, okay? Oh, yes. Close, close your ear. Oh. And then close the ear and then do this. Can you see? Yeah. Yes, I can see it. Okay. And the, the, ear. the wow. spot you have to hit, hit uh, is right below the skull, skull bone. Line. Okay. Yeah. Where, where you massage, you just uh, massage, okay. okay? Yeah, you do this very hard, but it has to close the ear. So you, and you're closing yeah. your ear. You, you close ear okay. with your palm wow. and then do the, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When and you close your ear, things sound very different. You, you can hear uh, an echo. Yes, it sounds very yeah, different. Yeah, and that, that's very important to open the inner ear. Okay. okay. okay? Yeah. To to let uh, the energy start to in and out flow better. Yeah. And then, of course, the last you have to drink a a hot a nice a hot cup of hot water. Yeah. And usually we do this in the morning better. Why? Because uh, before you go to bed, if you do this, you will be very awake. Then probably you were harder to fall asleep. <laughs> so we, I, I suggested to do it uh, when, you, uh, when you get up in the morning. And then after you do this, you drink a cup of hot water. Okay. So I'm going to remind everybody that the reason for doing this is mm -hmm. to maintain and improve your hearing, and probably it helps your whole body as well. Yes. Can you show people one more time, just quickly, the oh, whole sure. thing? Sure. Yeah, this. Okay, 100 times, and then pull, pull side and up, okay, and especially this area, earlobe, is very important, more corresponding okay. to your ear, right here, okay, yeah, and then uh, massage the, the, right. the bottom of the scalp, scalp bone, okay, and also don't forget that these two points, you do right. this, yeah, the depression there, yeah, a bit of, Hard, okay? Oh, yeah, I'm and, afraid to. And then third, uh, put the. Oh no, the third is here. Right, close the ears. Yeah, yeah, close the ear. Yes, and then to hit the right button of the scalp bone. Yeah, where where you massage just now, okay? And then you put a heating pad. Yeah, right here. Okay, about uh, three to five minutes. And then. And then drink uh, a cup of hot water or gin a bit of ginger tea also very good to open the meridians yeah okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. so uh, and uh, if you can do a uh, uh, last time we do a uh, uh, 10 different movement of hand and finger right if you can add that a uh, 10 movement of hand and finger that will be even better well we've got about one minute left can we quickly run through the 10 movements <laughs> oh, who remember? Can we maybe, run? Maybe, maybe one we or two won't have time. <laughs> yeah, but but please please Google, uh, please okay. Google the 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 last uh, program. Okay, yeah, uh, last month. Yeah, in in uh, April. Yeah, right. and uh, I'm going to uh, also promote uh, some qigong here. Yeah, because qigong is a very uh, important uh, exercise in ancient China and even now in China or Taiwan. Yeah. And we think um, soft qigong bring uh, the body soft energy uh, instead of uh, a tough energy. Yeah, like uh, Zumba or exercise is more a uh, strong energy. But the qigong is different. It's soft energy because in Chinese uh, medicine, uh, sorry, in Chinese philosophy, okay, soft energy can last longer. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people ask me, how come you look uh, younger than your age? Because I think in Chinese way, we use energy very carefully. Yeah, we don't use ca energy like uh, a lot. Yeah, we, we have to use energy carefully. And that's how the Qigong uh, so has been so popular in all over the world. Yeah, and more and more people uh, really think Qigong can help their health in many, many different ways. Okay. And the next time we're yeah. going to talk about Qigong, but we're out of time this time. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Chi, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. And 
Thank you for watching this segment of Citizens Forum.